Hello. Come in. In here. It's good of you to come. Not at all. You want to sit down? Well, I might, yes, in a minute. Judy's at the hospital. On night duty. Mm -hmm. I must speak to you. It's important. Speak. Yes. You look quite rough. What's the trouble? It's not about you and Emma, is it? I know all about that. Yes, so I've been told. Ah. Well, it's not very important, has it? Been over for years, hasn't it? It is important. Really? Why? Well, I thought I was going to go mad. When? This evening, just now. Wondering whether to phone you. Well, I had to phone you. It took me two hours to phone you. And then you were with the kids. I thought I wasn't going to be able to see you. I thought I'd go mad. I'm very grateful to you for coming. Oh, for God's sake. Look, what exactly do you want to say? I don't know why she told you. I don't know how she could tell you. I just don't understand. Listen, I know you've got. Look, I, I saw her today. We had a drink. I haven't seen her for... And she told me that you're in trouble, both of you. And so on. I know that. I mean, I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. Why not? The fact is, I can't understand why she felt it necessary, after all these years, to tell you so suddenly, last night. Last night? Without consulting me, without warning me, after all. You and me. She didn't tell me last night. What do you mean? I know about last night. She told me. You were up all night, weren't you? That's correct. And she told you last night about her and me, did she not? No, she didn't. She didn't tell me about you and her last night. She told me about you and her four years ago. So she didn't have to tell me again last night, because I knew. And she knew I knew because she told me herself four years ago. What? I think I will sit down. I thought you knew. Knew what? <laughs> that I knew. That I've known for years. I thought you knew that. We've seen each other a great deal over the past four years. We've had lunch. Never played squash, though. I was your best friend. Well, yes. Sure. Oh, don't get upset. There's no point. Why didn't she tell me? Well, I'm not her, old boy. Why didn't you tell me? I thought you might know. But you didn't know for certain, did you? You didn't know. No. Then why didn't you tell me? Tell you what? That you knew, you bastard. Oh, don't call me a bastard, Jerry. What are we going to do? You and I are not going to do anything. 
My marriage is finished. I've just got to make proper arrangements, that's all. About the children. You hadn't thought of telling Judith. Telling Judith what? Oh, about you and Emma. You mean she never knew? Are you quite sure? No, I hadn't thought of telling Judith, actually. You don't seem to understand. You don't seem to understand that I don't give a shit about any of this. It's true, I've hit Emma once or twice, but that wasn't a defender principle. I wasn't inspired to do it from any kind of moral standpoint. I just felt like giving her a good bashing. The old itch. You understand. But you betrayed her for years, didn't you? Oh, yes. And she never knew about it, did she? Didn't she? I didn't. No, you didn't know very much about anything, really, did you? No. Yes, you did. Yes, I did. I lived with her. Yes, in the afternoons. Sometimes very long ones, for seven years. Yes, you certainly knew all there was to know about that, about the seven years of afternoons. I don't know anything about that. I hope she looked after you all right. We used to like each other. We still do. I bumped into old Casey the other day. I believe he's having an affair with my wife. We haven't played squash for years, Casey and me. Used to have a damn good game. He's put on weight. Yes, I thought that. <laughs> He's over the hill. Is he? Don't you think so? In what respect? His work, his books. Oh, his books, his art. Yes, his art does seem to be falling away, doesn't it? Still sells. Oh, sounds very well. Sounds very well indeed. Very good for us. For you and me. Yes. Have you read any good books lately? I've been reading Yeats. Ah, Yeats, yes. You read Yeats on Torcello once. On Torcello? Don't you remember? Years ago, you went over to Torcello in the dawn, alone, and read Yeats. So I did. I told you that. Yes. Where are you going this summer, you and the family? The Lake District. 